and together. And welcome to the stage, my friend, Tim Hawkins. Come on. My girlfriend dumped me five days ago You're my favorite couple and I wanted you to know Yeah, two is company and three is a crown But Friday night's coming up, I heard you're going out And I've been down since she been gone And if you don't mind, I'd like to tag along And be a third wheel, would it be alright? I ain't got nothing going, can I hang with y'all I know you want to be together, but I don't want to be alone. Yeah, we can go walking and look at the moon. Ooh. Get a hot fudge sundae with an extra spoon. You can park the car and run your fingers through her hair. I'll be in the back seat, you won't even know I'm there. How about the Cheesecake Factory? Just you and her. I mean, I'm gonna be a third wheel. Wouldn't it be great? Don't mind me, carry on with your day. Third wheel. Don't make me stay home. I know you want to be together. What's up, North Carolina? Shopping, give me the keys or an awkward picnic by the oak tree. You can stay in and watch DVD, or you can play Twister. I could referee. <laughs> that's creepy. That's a third wheel. That's what I do. You can act like I ain't irritating you. Third wheel. I make myself at home. You know, thanks to you two, my and I'll never be alone. Never be alone. Wow, 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 yeah. We're going one and a two and a third wheel. Hey! Third wheel. Third wheel. Yeah, baby. Oh, dreams come true. New Bern, North Carolina. Oh, kids, you dream big. One day you two could perform in the creepiest town in the South. Right here. Right here in good old New Bern. Well, it's good to be here, man. You guys like hip hop? Okay, this is not hip hop right here. Well, my old John Deere finally broke down. Used it every day, I drove it into the ground. So I went to get a new one way uptown. I was out of luck, zero all out And so I found a used tractor on Craigslist There's no picture, I couldn't resist It seemed like a good deal, now I regret it If you wanna know why, go take a look at it I got stuck with a pretty pink tractor Go take a peek, it's out in the pasture People make fun, but it don't matter Drives real loud, so you can't hear the laughter Plays the sweet song, turn in a corner Flowery canopy, I when I guess I warmer When I think about it, just get madder I got stuck with a pretty pink tractor well, Just when I thought it couldn't get no worse My daddy came by Sunday after church He said, son, don't you listen to them big mouth jerks And if people make fun 
hit him with your purse and hang him all around on your pretty pink track there. Gonna take a picture, wanna show my pastor, sure all the family won't take a gander, so I'm gonna show him your pretty pink track there. A Teletubby cover on the seat. It's like a redneck Sesame Street. Watch out when you buy online, don't turn out good all the time Why y'all gotta make fun that way, it plows it up, it bells it hey Give me a minute while I put this dip in, hit with a purse dad, you be tripping Snapshot, cheap shot, take a look, post it up all on your Facebook Herb I hate on my new red cows and chicken, dog and pig Jump from a track, I'll let it flow, got you tripping on the double rainbow Fire it up, I hear y'all laughing, make it a rain I'm a redneck rapping, Pepto-Bismol, flash of pink I know y'all really wanna be me, I remember! I got stuck with the bread of ink. Oh, yeah. Need to go to town. Trade it in for a green or brown. Who wants my bread of ink? the smoke coming from got a bunch of deacons in the back just puffing away light them up tim hawkins is coming puff it out Woo! look at all this technology north carolina man you guys got it going on you guys got the internet now this is awesome i took an uber today north carolina guy picked me up on a lawnmower Hey, y'all, stop looking at the monitor, front row. I'm here now. Stop looking at the monitor. <laughs> y'all from South Carolina probably like, what's going on? Is this witchcraft? There's three of them up there. <laughs> Good night, man. I love the South. I really do, but we got to talk. It, it's hard to understand what you're saying. You know that, right? I love you, but it's never, you, all, you throw out these phrases in the South that don't have no context. I don't know what you're saying. I was in the South years ago at a Walmart, and I was in line, this guy was right by me, and just trying to be nice. I'm like, hey, dude, how you doing? He'd go, hey, i tell you what. <laughs> and he wouldn't tell me what. I didn't know what to do. I was trying to be nice. I was like, what? He goes, huh, what are you going to do? <laughs> Guess I'm going to wait for you to tell me what. <laughs> and he goes, there you go. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. So good to be here. Last time I was in New Bern, it was not this good. This was really nice. You guys, I was here years ago. It was a disaster. It was just a bunch of idiots in the audience. He's just like, oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand this guy at all. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> you were there, dude. I remember you. That, that's the same shirt. That's a different woman you're sitting next to, but that was the same shirt. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Come on, guys. It's all about love here, man. My goodness, got some church folk here. Yeah, any Baptists in the audience? Any Baptists? Yeah. Yeah, there's the first time you ever raised your hands in church. How'd that feel? Did you guys pull a rotator cuff? Oh, it feels like I'm doing something dirty. <laughs> Catholics raise their hands in church to go bingo. <laughs> okay, get, get out of here. Any Catholics here tonight? Any Catholics? Yeah, don't clap. Don't clap. You probably have a drink in your hand. Don't want to spill the ice on the seats. <laughs> Let's make the Catholics feel at home. How's everybody doing? Oh, welcome to the comedy show. Oh, oh, oh. 
People, if you can't laugh at yourself, <laughs> laugh at Catholics. That's what I say. I. Oh my goodness gracious. Any who else here? Deconstructing it, Chuck. You get big dad. I just had a stroke. Deconstructionists. He left that a lot on TikTok. Everybody deconstructing the faith. Anybody deconstructing the faith? Really? You're gonna try to make the Bible make you feel a little more comfortable. You gonna deconstruct it? All right. How's that working out? I thought it's supposed to deconstruct us, but now you're gonna make. Okay, you're you're in charge now. Okay, good. My friend's like, I'm deconstructing my faith. I'm like, dude, you can't put together an Ikea table. What are you talking about? <laughs> deconstructing your faith. But this is nice. This is a clean, man, this is clean. You guys should rent this out to the Mormons. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm an equal opportunity offender, I guess. Now the Mormons are leaving. Let's go right now. Honey, 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 honey. Let's go right now. Out the door. What? <laughs> Boom. Right out of the gate. Polygamy joke in a Baptist church. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, don't judge me. You watch Sister Wives. You know you do. That's the best show on television. That's a latter-day dumpster fire right there, isn't it? Can you imagine that? Four wives? Uh-uh. I have enough trouble disappointing one woman. I can't imagine four. But I'll tell you what, you folks can do comedy. You live your life, take notes, tell strangers, look around, look around our wonderful country. I, uh, oh my goodness gracious, it is just out there. Driving through Kentucky, I saw this billboard in Kentucky that said, are you going to heaven or hell? And there's a phone number at the bottom of the sign. <laughs> they know something in Kentucky we don't. I wanted to call that number. <laughs> heaven or hell. <laughs> Pearly gates are dire straits, how can I help you? Sure, I'll check for you, honey. What's your name? Okay, Tim Hawkins. Okay, check it, Tim Hawkins. Yeah. Oh, okay, I did, yeah. Hail. <laughs> Pit of hail, hon. Sorry about that. Bless your heart. I tell you what. Hey, we're doing a deal on hand baskets. How are you going to get down there? You know, hell in a hand basket. Come on, here we go, North Carolina. Jump on the horse. I don't juggle. These are the jokes. I saw a billboard for a, for a business in Indiana. It was called Zip and Sip. That's the name of the business, Zip and Sip. It was uh, zip lining and wine tasting. What a great combination that is. And what goes good with zipping on a line 100 feet off the ground? <laughs> Booze. Let's call that place Zip and Sip, lose your grip and break a hip. That's what they should call. Put that zip line over a cemetery, just cut out the middle, man. Church, we got to get better signs on the street for us, man. I was driving through some places, a bunch of churches. I saw a road sign. All it said was slow church ahead. <laughs> no punctuation, just slow church ahead. I mean, it's like you got to drive slower. They're just like, no, that's a real slow church. Sunday morning, it'll take you all day. Don't go in there. Like you're walking on Sunday. Thanks for joining us. I would not want to get baptized at a slow church. Like, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Stand Out! <laughs> it's like I got baptized and saw Jesus at the same time. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, I was raised Baptist, and I've uh, been a while since I've been in the Baptist church. They still doing the altar call at the Baptist church? Very important altar call. I invite people to Christ every Sunday. But when I was growing up, Baptist preachers would not tell you the truth when it came to the altar call because they say they're not going to embarrass you, right? But they always did. Remember that? It's like every head bowed, every eye closed. We're not here to embarrass you. No one's looking. No one's looking. You know you were looking. You're praying like this. Like, oh, that guy got saved last week. What's his problem? Every head bowed, every eye closed. We're not here to embarrass you. No one's looking. But if you prayed that prayer with me just now, every head bowed, every eye closed, I just want you to do this. I just want you to slip your hand up. Just simply, there's always simply, simply slip your hand up. Simply slip your hand up right where you are. Right where you are. Like, where else am I going to slip my hand up? Over there? No, right where you are. Right where you are. Then you do the countdown, yes, yes, up in the back, yes, 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 all over the room, yes. And you're like, 
I don't see one hand right now, Pastor. It's called a flat horizon where I come from, bro. You are failing. See, pastors used to make you do things you didn't want to do in church. You ever, your pastor ever make you join hands across the congregation? Didn't you hate that? Because you're always in the row without enough people in it. You're like trying to join. <laughs> Come on! We got to join hands or it's not going to count. <laughs> yeah, like God's looking down. You got to join up. I'm not going to answer your prayer. Red Rover, Red Rover, I'm not coming over. Let's go. Join up. Couldn't stand holding hands with strangers when I'm praying, because you know that. You never listen to the prayer. You're always judging the person you're holding hands with. It's like, oh my God. This guy's hands are huge. Can't tell if I'm sweating or he is. I think he's got an extra finger. What is it? Is that a mole or a milk dud? What is that? Got checked out, Chewbacca. <laughs> Amen. Thank the Lord that's over with. Oh, it's the pastor's wife. Honey, it's the pastor's wife. Pastor married a Wookiee. Here's one thing I can't stand. People do this when you're joining hands, like in a small group praying, you're holding hands. These people who squeeze your hand at the end of a prayer. Little squeeze, squeeze. Amen. Squeezes. Jesus squeezes. I don't know if you do that. You need to stop doing that. <laughs> Nobody likes it. We're not ready for it. Just, yeah. That's why people are going to the Catholic Church. They don't squeeze your hand over there. Yeah. I don't know. We, uh, there's a lot of phrases they teach you in church. I don't know what they mean, but they still pray them over you. Like hedge of protection. I don't know what that means. People say they're praying a hedge of protection around me. I don't know what that means. Like, Tim, we're praying a hedge of protection around you, brother. We're praying a hedge around you and your whole family. That doesn't sound very strong. <laughs> How about a thick cement wall? Can you pray that around me? Some razor wire on top of that bad boy? Hedge protection. I'm sure the devil's got a set of clippers. <laughs> it's only a hedge, demons. Get in there. Is a hedge going to scare Satan away? Like, oh, no. I can't get through that bush. These guys are good. My greatest weakness is landscaping. How do they know? <laughs> that was my devil tale. I've been working on that. I love it, man. Love the way we pray. Whoa. Anyway. Uh, love the way we pray over food. That's hysterical. When we pray over food and ask God to make up for our bad choices when we eat. That's hysterical. You've heard this one. Lord, bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies. Lord, bless this bag of Cheetos. And this jumbo Dr. Pepper, Lord, somehow make it nourish us in some way. We don't know how you're going to do it, Father. Lord, change the molecular structure of this food, this garbage we're about to shove in our gullet. Change the Cheeto into a carrot stick with fat-free ranch dressing on the way down. I pray a hedge of protection around my pancreas right now, Lord. Amen. Squeeze. Uh -uh. I love the old dudes who pray in church. Yeah. You ever heard this guy pray a calm thesaurus prayer? This guy prays like a thesaurus. <laughs> You're like, Lord, lead us, guide us, direct us. Navigate for us, Lord. Show us the way to go. That means the same thing, Roger. Can you hurry up? Lord, protect us, watch over us, guard us. Oh, finish, wrap it up, conclude. I'm emaciated, starving, hungry. I want to go to Denny's, IHOP, Arby's, Chick-fil-A. Let's move it. Yeah, Chick-fil-A's open. It's Monday you've been praying so long. Squeeze it out, bro. Squeeze it. But here we are. It's so good to be in New Bern, beautiful little town, man. I don't know. Is there a lot of good to be? I guess it's not really a super spreader anymore. It's good to see faces again, isn't it? I mean... Mostly, right? Boy, man, you get through it, but you still can't do certain activity. You, you can't cough in public anymore. Don't you feel weird coughing anymore? Like you swallow your water wrong. I'm good. 
You can't sneeze in public. You can't even have a runny nose in public without feeling weird. You're like, ah, ah. oh no, that's cocaine. Totally cocaine. <laughs> yep, doing the devil's detergent, officer. Doing. <laughs> I'm a coke doer. <laughs> All right, kids, that was a drug reference. Let's get something out of the way. You don't need drugs and alcohol to have a good time, all right? There's no, no punchline, okay? No punchline. You don't need it. Life is too good. Life's too good. Make your decision now, kids, because you're going to get pressured growing up. You are. I did. People come to me all the time growing up, man, Tim, yeah. You're funny, dude. You'd be really funny, Hammer, man. I'd love to see you drunk, man. I'd love to see you wasted, man. <laughs> like, Dad, leave me alone. Gosh. <laughs> Doing my homework, I'm 12. Get out of here, you hippie. But it's good to see faces. It's good to hug again. It's good to shake hands again. I like to shake hands. I don't like these dudes who fist bump, like they're doing, hey, no, fist bump, keep it safe. Fist, fist bump. Like the COVID can't get around the knuckles. I got fed up. I just did the regular bump. What's up? Yeah. Dude, stay safe. I twerk because I care. <laughs> People are like, Tim, you're going to talk about the pandemic, right? I'm not, I don't want to talk about the pandemic. It got politicized, didn't it? They tried to set us, you know, just, just, just hate each other just over a pandemic. That's, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk about it. But I want to tell the truth. I mean, I don't want to offend anybody. I know I do but I don't want to. All right, I'll talk about the pandemic real quick. We'll get out, all right? All right, seriously. All right, I did a lot of thought and everything, and this is what I really believe. I really believe when it all comes down to it, the thing it, I, oh, every I, you know what I'm saying? Because, oh, oh, I, I'm not, I, I, right? I've done the research. It's very clear. Oh, I, and I believe God himself says, And that's what I think about the pandemic. That's what I think. That's what I think about it. <laughs> Took some courage, I know, but I just wanted to tackle that real quick. You know, here's one thing about the pandemic, seriously. I think they should have put a mom in charge of the CDC. Because that pandemic would have been a week over with, especially a southern mama. Southern mamas know how to heal. It doesn't sound legal, but it works. My mom said, no matter what was wrong, she'd say the same thing. Like, mom, I don't feel good. You need to go sit on the pot. <laughs> I think I have a sore throat. You need to go sit on the pot. <laughs> I think I broke my leg. Go sit on the pot. I can just see her at my funeral. I told him not to go sit on the pot. Now he's dead. <laughs> Rub some Vicks on his chest. He'll wake up and love again. <laughs> Did you guys have Vicks Vapo Rub growing up in North Carolina? What is that stuff? We don't even know. They keep making it. We don't even know what it is. It's like Vaseline mixed with gasoline. What is that stuff? Rubbing it on a kid? Breathe it in all night long. Okay. I don't think I'm going to make it all night long. I'm having an acid trip. I'm four. I feel like I'm in a Doors video. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. Your mom ever slather Vicks all over your bare feet, put wool socks on you, send you to bed? Wake up tasting metal? Like, do I suck on exhaust pipes when I sleep? Oh, and I do. I hate Vicks for so many reasons. Husbands, you know what I'm talking about. You ever go to bed at night, you smell Vicks on your wife? There's a clear message for you. <laughs> Tells you what ain't happening that night. Dang it! I did the laundry today. <laughs> Remember back teen spray? Remember that? I hate to bring these horrible memories back. Remember back teen? Every time you'd scrape your legs, you'd bring that can. Roll your pant leg up. Roll your pant leg up. We got to do it. All right. Shh. <laughs> Get the fire hose. What are you doing? Does it feel like it's on fire? That means it's working. 
It's getting the gangrene out. Let it sizzle. Let it do its work. I can see the bone. That's good. It's getting down in there. It's like, why did you do that? I do that because I love you. If you love me, you wouldn't spray demon spit on my leg. That's the first. My gosh, we all have the same mom, don't we? I love my mom. She's blessed me. May she rest in peace. You know, she's still alive. In case she has a nap or something later, I hope it's peaceful. She's the queen of guilt trips. The day I got married, my mom said this to my face. She goes, I hope, Timothy, I hope that you don't treat your wife, that you don't treat your wife like you treat me. <laughs> What? I'm not going to put my wife in a home. Get out of here. Oh, my gosh. I can't afford that. Good night. Oh, my gosh. All moms say the same stuff, you know. You ever do something wrong? She's like, go to your room and think about what you did. You think about what you did. I'm like, I did think about it, and I did it. I thought about it, then I did it. Exactly what I wanted to do. Watch your tone. Oh. And moms would say stuff that didn't make sense. Like you're running with a stick. You, don't you run with a stick. You're going to poke your eye out. You can't poke your eye out with a stick. You can poke it in. You got to get behind there and flick it out. You should, yeah, don't, yeah, you're going to poke your eye. That's right. Okay, that's right. Oh, my gosh. And moms, quit asking us to do things we can't physically do. We can't come there this instant. We can't break the laws of physics to make you happy. Don't you wish you could just to freak her out? Like, get downstairs. Yes. You summoned old lady. <laughs> It's like they make us smart, Alex. We can't help it. You made us that way. Mom ever say this? You need to get your butt in gear. Let's go. Get your butt in gear. Reverse. Beep, beep, beep. And that's when the beatings began. See, I'm not making this stuff up, am I? Some of y'all had the same mom. We've had these same experiences. Do you ever wake up your mom up out of a deep sleep? Isn't that the most horrifying thing a human being can endure? And it's pitch black in there anyway. You're freaking out as it is. You know what's coming? You're just going, oh, oh, mommy. 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 <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, it's me. I need to go change my pants real quick. Had a little duty come out when you woke up like that, Chewbacca. Be right back. Yep, I can feel one rolling down my pant leg right now. Hopefully that sock's gonna catch that bad boy. Oh, there's another one. Another round in the chamber. Gonna throw these in the washer real quick. This is truth. That woman was scary. But anyway, show's going pretty good so far. I mean, Will Smith hasn't come here and smacked me in the face. I guess we're doing okay. That's a real fear of a comedian right now. Will Smith coming out of nowhere. Boom! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Those Hollywood people are freaks, aren't they? I'm telling you, freaks. See, I mean, in a Christian way. Just freaks. They always talk about their marriage. We have an open marriage, really open marriage. Okay, yeah, I do too. I open the door for her, open her bank account, try not to open my mouth. We have a very open marriage. There's not going to be any alopecia jokes tonight. I, uh, I wish I was bald. I'm in my 50s now. I, I envy you guys over 50 with bald. That, I, hair in your 50s, it's not hair. It's like, hey. It is. When I run my fingers through it, it crackles. <laughs> Don't use Rogaine. He's Roundup for crying out loud. So the hair in my head is dying. Hair on other parts of my body, flourishing right now. 
I don't know if Locks of Love has a back hair division. I'm ready to donate. It's like Rapunzel back there, my gosh. It's like a cape. It's like the lowest mullet you've ever seen in your life. I don't even know. I don't even know what I am. Some of you guys have seen me for years, you know, and I keep changing. And I used to have long hair, then curly hair, then, you know, different facial hair. I don't know. My hair's been 10 different shades of red. I don't know what I am. I think I'm a transgender. I, think, I don't know. I don't know. It's getting a little hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. No, seriously, let's talk about it. The whole transgender thing, I really think, uh, that's what I think about that. That's, that's what I think about that whole deal. That's right. I, that's, I know I'm in the South. That's the thing. It's like people, you guys, you guys congratulate yourself at the end of a laugh. You woo at the end of a laugh. I love that. <laughs> woo! <laughs> yeah. I love that. Women do this. When women laugh, they sigh at the end. You ever heard a woman laugh? They always end in a sigh. I don't know why. Like, that is true, Tim. That is so true. Oh, my gosh. That is... <sighs> Just heard you do it. Some of you are holding it in right now. Don't do that, dude. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm in my 50s now. 50s, man. Woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. I don't know. I get irritated by stuff. You know, like when people try to talk through a yawn. <laughs> you hear something? Like, yeah, we're going to meet over there, and then we're going to get the kids from the conference. Okay, don't speak whale. Can you say that again? Or when someone's telling a story, just tell me the story. You don't have to describe it when you know. Like when somebody tells you, like something is like, a, they got to explain the color. Like I got embarrassed the other day. I, I turned red. As, then they'll look for something red. I turned red as that stop sign over there. Oh, I thought you meant cucumber red. Oh, now I know. But anybody 50 plus here? Anybody over 50? Yeah? Yeah. Isn't that the most pathetic sound you've ever heard? <laughs> Oh! Couple of you guys brought your CPAP machine. <laughs> Any of you wives got a CPAP husband? <laughs> Did you sign up for that? No, you didn't. That changes intimacy, doesn't it? Oh, great, I'm married to a fighter pilot now. You stop hugging the covers, Darth Vader. My goodness. Look, if you're, a CPAP, if you're a CPAP wife, you have a husband has a CPAP machine, just mess with him. Just try it. Turn that thing on full blast. When it's like, <laughs> wakes up with a face hickey. Hey. Feel great. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel okay. I feel, you know, I feel pretty good. I don't feel old. You know what? I really feel old. Back me up in this 50 plus people. I really feel old when I'm putting, you know, entering personal information on my iPhone. And you get that box that says birth year. <laughs> You're gonna scroll down to your birth year. Doesn't that ruin your day? Right? It's like you're spinning the wheel on the price is right. I'm not in the 70s yet. I feel my prostate hardening right now. I don't know if it's prostate or prostrate. I'm a Baptist. I don't know. <laughs> We've all made that mistake in church, haven't we? Let angels prostate fall. <laughs> I am. I'm a mess. Your body changes in your 50s too, man. My wife kind of digs it, though. Doesn't have to iron my shirts anymore. It's not that funny, man. When you knock it off. I got a witch in the fifth row over there. <laughs> Saw a snot bubble come out of your nose when you did that. Thanks for laughing at my body. I appreciate that. It's disgusting. It really is. And married, married guys, you've been married for a long time. You know what I'm talking about. That first year of marriage, man, you walk in without a shirt. She's like, oh, look at that. 
30 years later, you're walking without a shirt. You need to get that looked at. What is wrong with you? What happened to your body? Your nipples point sideways now. Like a horse's eyes. What is going on? They're going left to right. My God, it's like Simon and Garfunkel. They're not getting back together anytime soon. So maybe when you're 70, you lay on your back, they touch each other behind you. Tie them up like a bow, that's disgusting. And don't go running, you'll be smacking kids on the sidewalk with those things. It's just so true. Your body, it just, it just, I don't know. I got a crooked nose, look at that crooked nose. I got lopsided ears, I got varicose veins all over my legs. My toenails look like sun chips. Every dude over 50's got that nasty toenail. You can slice a goat's throat with the dumb thing. That's how we pick up our underwear, stab it, pick it up, fling it in the laundry room. Picking up cans on the side of the highway. Just doing what the Lord has given me. Got an eagle talon on my foot now. Stupid, man. And I want real food. Stop trying to make food healthy. I made it this far. Krispy Kreme donuts, they're trying to make a sugar-free donut. A sugar-free donut. We have that, it's called a bagel. Leave it alone. And leave bread alone, my man. Healthy bread, that doesn't even make sense. Have you seen healthy bread? I'll just get a bag of mulch and eat that. My wife got this healthy bread a while back. It's Bible bread, it's called Ezekiel bread. Have you heard of it? Yeah. It's like eating an air conditioning filter with peanut butter on top of it. Don't know whether to eat it or sand down a tabletop with it. What would Jesus do? He wouldn't eat Ezekiel bread, I tell you that much. Wasn't feeding the 5,000 with that. <laughs> Maybe he did, explains why they had 12 basketfuls left over. Oh, where's the basket? Oh! Oh, that bread sucketh. <laughs> that was the King James Version. Good night. That just stinks, man. But we made it through the pandemic. We did it, and it's good to see everybody here. And oh, I don't know, man. I'm glad we live in this country. I know we're not perfect, but aren't you glad, you glad you live here, man? It's just, I know. Just so glad. I'm, other countries freaked out. Australia, they're just, oh, my, they just went nuts over there. You know, Canada, Trudeau's like, get back inside. England's crazy. They've always been crazy over there. They got no rights at all. They got no First Amendment, got no Second Amendment, can't own a firearm to protect your family and yourself, right? You can't even buy a knife over in England anymore. They had all these stabbing attacks a few years ago. <laughs> Mayor of London outlaws knives. I'm like, that's going to help crime? That's going to stop crime, really? No, I don't think so. Be watching the news. Today in Yorkshire, there was a spooning. A crazy spoon wielding maniac, spooning people left and right, taking scoops out of people, scraping them with a ladle. But thankfully, he was taken down by the police with a spatula and a cheesecloth. So beware tearing a spoon out there, right? Don't want to get the old spooner. You don't have to make up comedy anymore. Read headlines, people. I, saw, I was reading this story on the internet and it was about this, it was a psychic dwarf who escaped police custody. <laughs> and the headline said, small, medium at large. It was the weirdest headline. The weirdest headline. How about this, remember a few years ago that United Air Flight, lady puts her dog in the overhead compartment of the plane. For a five hour flight, the dog died. I know, people get it right. The overhead is for cats. We know that, right? North Carolina, you know. Cats and poodles, that's what that's for. 
Poodle's not a dog, that's an alligator with a perm. That's all a poodle is. You guys like dogs here? Yeah. They're good, they're a challenge though, aren't they? I mean, cats, are, they just do their own thing. Cat will, you know, disappear for three weeks, just walk to your door, hey. I had some stuff I had to do. <laughs> Getting into Bitcoin and trying to get a... My wife and I, a while back, bought two Yorkshire Terriers, Yorkie Terriers. It was a mistake. <laughs> They're too small. It's like when they bark, they lose their balance. <laughs> like, hey! Oh. They fall down, I gotta pick them up with my toenail. And they're dangerous. They like to lick their face, but they have these long, thin tongues like the length of their body. They're like meat swords. You ever have one of those slide up your nose when you weren't ready for it? There's the ultimate COVID test you're not ready for. <laughs> hey. I think she licked the back of my eyeball. But they're so cute. They're so cute. It took us three months to process how cute these dogs are. And other people, strangers, can't take it. They lose their mind. You know, I take them to the park. They're like, your puppy, so bad, your puppy. <laughs> His head blows, huh? Take them to the coffee shop. Puppy, bring the puppies in, bring the puppies in. Ah. They give them little cups of whipped cream. <laughs> take them to the, my puppies to the drive-thru at the bank. Those ladies behind the glass. Oh my gosh, your puppies. Those puppies are so precious. Oh my gosh, you're so lucky to have those puppies. <sighs> They're so precious. I wish we could pet them. So I put them in the tube. <laughs> just real quick, just real quick. <laughs> Thank you, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> real quick. <laughs> now my dogs hate going to the bank. <laughs> All right, can we thank the church real quick for letting us do this here tonight? do bunch of hippies that's all you are bunch of heathens isn't that amazing people freak out over that song no matter where you go no matter where i was in germany <laughs> they're like yeah sweet home alabama yeah this is good this is good in birmingham they love the governor <laughs> you can probably go to iran like hey that is my favorite song. <laughs> Crank it, that is my jam. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet home, Alabama. Come on, Allah. Allah. <laughs> Sweet home, Allah, Allah, Allah. <laughs> This show just took a dark turn, didn't it? I dropped my cap. It's going to be a good night. I'm going to do some music later. But music inspires me, man. I love our national anthem. It's always inspired me. I think we have the greatest national anthem in the world. I'm not, uh, look. And can we have a hand, go give a hand to our men and women who fight for us in our military so valiant? And just, we really appreciate you, man. Isn't that cool? We're blessed, man. We really are. Uh, I think we have the greatest national anthem in the world. I don't know anybody else's, but I'm sure ours is the best, right? I have heard Russia's national anthem. It's just, it's ridiculous. I can't understand it. It's like, speak English, you weirdos. The song's never gonna catch on if people don't understand what you're singing about. When we watch the Super Bowl or something, every time the Super Bowl, they have a famous person sing the national anthem, usually in their version, you know? Sometimes you do their version of the national anthem. And uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's okay. But they passed over so many singers in history to do their version of the national anthem. Singers I love. I love reggae. I love reggae music. I love Bob Marley. Anybody remember Bob Marley? I, I was going to see Bob Marley do his version of the national anthem. I didn't think something, something like this. Oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early light, ma. The rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, but the flag's still there. Well, you're a tough nut to crack. I thought that was pretty funny, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry. 
How about Bob Dylan? Never heard Bob Dylan do it. Oh, uh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? Uh, what's so proudly behind you? And that's why I like it, let's clean me. You said, no, 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 I feel it right here. Let's make it. Uh, uh, Maybe, I don't know. How about Elvis Presley? There's a new Elvis movie out, it's so good. Elvis. Kids, you don't know who these people are. I don't care. If Elvis did, you'd be like, Oh. Could you stand and face the flag? The game's about to start. Please remove your hat and put your hand over your heart. Don't be cruel. To the red, white, and blue. Don't be cruel. To the red, white, and blue. Hey! Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, good, man. Thank you. Lord, I'm out. I will tell you. Heaven's the right one. Who else? How about Guns N' Roses? <laughs> Oh, let's go there. How about that? Uh... Oh, we got a flag and it seems to be It reminds me we live in the land of the free Oh, see, can you see By the dawn's a little light Now and then when I see it wave It takes me away to the home of the brave And stands on liberty and freedom It's going to be a fun night tonight, and uh, oh my gosh, I'm just so good. Are you guys so glad you're here tonight? Let's do this, and just keep the applause going. I want to bring back my buddy Mark Stewart right now. Come on, bring it back up here. Come on, audio A, baby. Let's hear it. Come on, Mr. Mark. You guys having a good time? <laughs> 